the five stocks I'm highlighting in this video have fallen an average 37% in the last six months with just one in positive territory. And you're thinking, I've gone batshit crazy to recommend them but not if they also happen to be the best position for what could be one of the biggest trends over the next 10 years. In this video, I'll show you the true potential behind Web 3.0, what it is and when it's happening. I'll then reveal the five stocks to watch leading into this mega trend and why stocks like Facebook and Google could crash and burn. We're getting started, but before we do, you know I've gotta send that special shout out to all you out there in the Bowtie Nation. Thank you for spending a part of your day to be here. If you're not part of that community yet, just click that little red subscribe button. It's free and you'll never miss an episode. I'm gonna jump right into investing in Web 3.0 for this video, but I wanted to highlight a free webinar investing in these kinds of mega trends that, that you're gonna wanna watch. I'll leave a link in the description below the video. Click through and go to education in the menu to interactive brokers. You'll find some great webinars, all free to sign up to, but if you go here to this recently aired and scroll down, besides a great webinar on metaverse stocks, you'll find this webinar on mega trends and how to position your portfolio for these decade long forces. Now, all those webinars are completely free and you don't need an account to sign up. So check those out with the link I'll leave below. But here, understanding the power behind Web 3.0 means knowing the flaw in the old way of doing things. Web 2.0 is built around platforms that help you share and interact. You know, think, think trillion dollar companies like Facebook, Google, and Amazon. These companies stand in the middle of that link between you and everyone else online. Then they let you create those products, post information about yourself and create content, but you own none of it. All of your connections on Facebook, anything you've posted on Instagram or YouTube, it's all the property of those mega cap companies. And that is obviously a huge risk if you're ever censored or, or just outright kicked off the platform. Even if you're not using it as a part of your business, you'd still lose everything you ever posted and all of your connections. You also give those platforms the right to make money off whatever you create and post and, and might only earn a fraction of that revenue stream at best. Instead, Web 3.0 is gonna be built on decentralized apps and the blockchain, allowing you to own and control everything you post. Now, of course, the big Web 2.0 companies have already started to position to control this next version, but, but later I'm gonna show you why that might not be possible. Now though, I wanna get into that list of Web 3.0 stocks to watch because these could be some of your best investments you make over the next decade. Later, I'll explain how Web 3.0 is gonna work and why it's not just a buzzword. Our first Web 3.0 stock is one of the leading crypto platforms, Coinbase Global, ticker COIN. Coinbase has grown from just a Bitcoin trading platform to offering over 100 cryptocurrencies and has started to create that larger ecosystem of financial services in borrowing, lending, and staking. Now, its place in the Web 3.0 revolution is gonna to be to facilitate that exchange of the ownership in these assets. So imagine you own all your data from social media and your internet history. That's what Web 3.0 is all about. You could actually sell a portion of that, much like Facebook and these other sites in Web 2.0, much like they do right now, selling your search history to advertisers. And beyond this, all those other digital things you own in Web 3.0, your digital clothes, skins, other assets, people are gonna need an exchange platform to buy and sell these, just like we buy and sell stocks on E-Trade or, or TD Ameritrade now, and, and Coinbase is one of the best positioned to fill that role. And to be honest here, the company needs to transition to products outside of that cryptocurrency trading as soon as possible. Revenue growth is slowing with analysts only expecting 3.5% annualized pace over the next three years to, to $8.5 billion, and right now, it's all on those crypto fees. If a race to the bottom in trading fees happens in crypto just like it did with stock trading, Coinbase is gonna need those other revenue sources from NFTs and Web 3.0 assets. Shortly after the company issued its shares last year, I posted a video coming out for direct purchase of crypto rather than shares of Coinbase. I still think cryptocurrency returns do beat the stock, but, but if management can speed up its development of those other products, this could still offer some of the great returns. Shares now trade for 6.8 times on a price to sales basis, way under where they were, but still a little expensive for a company growing its sales at less than 10% a year. Analysts have an average target price of $317 a share over the next year, which would be an 83% upside. And even if it takes a few years on this, that's still a solid return. Next on our list isn't a direct play on Web 3.0, but is still gonna benefit. Game development platform Skills, ticker SKLZ. Skills provides an easy to use platform to create mobile games and then earn a share of the revenue collected. 
Think of it kind of like a YouTube for game developers, a platform to help anyone do what just a few years ago was impossible for anyone except for those big game companies like Activision. Gaming is likely to be the first to benefit from that Web 3.0 development as games start enabling people to own and transfer their in-game assets. Imagine being able to take the primal shotgun you have in Fortnite with you when you play Minecraft. Analysts expect revenue to double over the next four years to $788 million by 2025, which, which would still make it the smallest company on our list, but a solid 19.7% annual growth. With the stock down 93% since its high last year, the valuation is actually pretty good on this one, with just 4.1 times on that price to sales basis. That's cheap for a growth stock, so if skills can meet that revenue growth estimate or, or take advantage of Web 3.0, this could be one of your highest returns. And I think a lot of the analysts, like a lot of investors, have given up at this point. Only six analysts here covering the stock, though the average target price of $5.58 a share is 96% upside. We're just getting started on our list of Web 3.0 stocks, but I wanted to show you how this would work. Not only is it going to help you understand which companies and stocks are going to benefit, but also why this trend is so powerful. Now, I'll be using the research from the 2022 Big Ideas Report by ARK Invest. This is a 132-page report covering the opportunities in 14 disruptive ideas, including digital wallets. I'm covering each of these in separate videos, detailing the analysis and highlighting the best investments to make. I'll be putting this video and all day analysis into our ARK Invest 2022 ideas playlist, so make sure you check that out. Much of the control and ownership in Web 3.0 is going to be managed with NFTs, those non-fungible tokens that, that have so far been used just for little weird pictures of chimps, but, but have so much more potential. NFTs represent ownership of digital data stored on the blockchain, data you as the owner can control and use. So not only would you own the data you share online, but monetizing that data would be a fraction of the cost. Fees and commissions to sites like YouTube and Amazon range from 10 to 30% and higher, and that's a third of the income generated off your information taken by these websites. Don't forget, legally, they own that information, so they can just kick you off the platform at any time and take a full 100% of that money. But here with sites like OpenSea enabling the creation and use of NFTs, they charge a fraction of this, just 2.5% on OpenSea, and even less on some of these other newer NFT platforms. And while that weirdness of the bored apes is getting all the headlines, this idea of owning digital assets through those NFTs and the Web 3.0 is already becoming a reality. We've already seen it with the creation of applications in finance, that DeFi revolution that, that is enabling decentralized lending, borrowing, contracts, and even stock investing. And that larger opportunity here is immense. ARK estimates that Web 3.0 is going to start driving online spending in the years to come, growing by 28% annually to $12.5 trillion by 2030. Next on our list of Web 3 stocks is Block Inc, ticker SQ, formerly Square, at $67 billion market cap. Now, the basis of Web 3.0 is going to be on that peer-to-peer -peer system. You directly own your internet life, your information, and the assets, and can buy and sell and trade those assets freely with others. Block is already positioned to take the lead in this with its P2P payment system and cryptocurrency platform. And the founder CEO Jack Dorsey has been the biggest champion of Bitcoin and that blockchain revolution. Hell, he changed the name of the company to Block, so you know he's going to be all out in front of this. Now Jack has come out critical on Web 3.0 and how the venture capital industry is maneuvering to own that internet. but but that doesn't stop Block from positioning to get in front of this. Analysts expect sales to grow at a 17.7% annualized pace to $29 billion over the next three years, with the stock now trading fairly cheaply at just 3.2 times on a price to sales basis. Now, I recently featured PayPal and explained why its digital wallet makes it one of my biggest stock holdings. And, and while I like PayPal better in that theme, Block also has its own digital wallet. So this could be a great way to play both of those mega trend themes, digital wallets and 3.0. Analysts really like this stock with an average target just over $200 each and a 79% upside. Even the lowest target is 23% higher than the current price. This next Web 3.0 stock has one of the highest expected growth rates, but is also one of the most expensive. Unity Software, ticker U. Unity offers a platform developers can use to create real-time 3D content and worlds, something that's already being used in gaming, but could explode into the development of that metaverse theme. 
Unity software could be the foundation on which virtual reality and augmented reality worlds are built. Web3, then, would be how we interact in those worlds, owning those virtual clothes and the other assets in the metaverse. The company booked 43% sales growth last year to $1.1 billion, and analysts expect it to keep up that 33% annual pace to $3.5 billion in 2025 revenue. Even with the stock cut in half over the last year's peak, though, that still means it's trading at a price of 27 times last year's sales and even 8.7 times on that expected 2025 revenue. So definitely paying a premium for that future potential. Analysts are still bullish though, with an average target of $157 a share, about 57% higher from here and possibly much higher over the next decade on that metaverse theme. We've still got one more Web 3.0 stock to highlight, including the only one to produce positive returns already this year, but but there's a lot of talk about how the Web 2.0 companies like Facebook and like Google are positioning to own and control this revolution. In fact, Block's founder, Jack Dorsey, has called out the venture capital firms and those old school platforms for their positioning, trying to preemptively control Web 3.0 which is also interesting here given that Jack is also a founder of one of those web 2.0 platforms that would keep its control. But, but there's a reason I don't think companies like Google or Facebook or even Twitter is going to succeed in that control. Uh, no doubt. I'm sure they're going to have a stake in web 3.0 and find a way to make money on it. But that basic idea is just going to limit the revenue on their old business models. Now, I think the transition to Web3 is still far enough out that you can invest in these stocks in shares of Facebook. And in fact, I think they're undervalued right now. But as we make that transition, you have to wonder if they can adapt fast enough to make up for the loss in revenue from that legacy side of their business. Now, none of this is going to stop Web 3.0 from happening. Uh, the only question is who's going to own it? And I want to know what you think on this. Scroll down and let me know in the comments below whether old school platforms like Facebook and Google, are they going to find a way to control Web 3.0 like they did the current version of the internet? And which of our five stocks do you like the best? The only stock on our list to post a positive return over the past year, shares of NVIDIA Corporation, ticker NVDA. Now I want you to know that doesn't necessarily make NVIDIA the best stock on the list. I like that some of the others are down 50 and 60% from their peak because I know I'm not paying the kind of insane valuations they were fetching just last year. What NVIDIA does have is a lock on the technology that is going to make the Web 3.0 environment possible. The company creates the advanced semiconductors needed in that next generation computing in gaming, data centers, self-driving cars, and the Internet of Things revolution. Now think of semiconductors as the brains of your computer. So you want the fastest and most advanced processing power, and that's pretty much all NVIDIA right now. Gaming and data centers are likely to be the first to benefit from that Web 3.0 shift, and that's going to drive demand for NVIDIA's chips to handle that exponential rise in computing. We're also going to see growth in autonomous vehicles over the next few years and even the Internet of Things revolution, though, though many of the chips you'll find in that Internet of Things devices aren't necessarily as advanced as NVIDIA makes. Analysts expect revenue to more than double over the next four years to $59.4 billion for a 22% annualized pace. Now, unfortunately, because we haven't seen that steep sell-off in NVIDIA like these other stocks, the shares are still fairly expensive at 17 times this year's expected revenue of $34.7 billion. Analysts have an average price target of $362 each, and even the lowest target here is an upside to the current price. But I don't think this is one you need to rush into. Maybe put some of your money in now while holding some of it back in case the stock sells off for a better opportunity. Reserve your spot in that free webinar by clicking on the link I'll leave below and learn how to invest in these mega trend stocks or click on the video to the right to see how I'd invest $10,000 for insane dividends, seven income investments that pay five times the market's average. Don't forget to join the Let's Talk Money community by tapping that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification.